Hi everybody, welcome back to my crafty desk. My name is Sandra, if you don't know that already, and I just wanna say um, welcome to everyone um, that's been here with me and that's new. I hope you enjoy the video today. We are gonna be doing some more ephemera. Um, I wanna make some lacy some lacy stuff, some some girly frilly, um, I don't know, maybe it's shabby chicy, chicy chicy. Um, but before we do that, the last video I did when I was making some ephemera, I wanted to show you, I finished off some things. So, give me just one second. I'm just going to put this one over the top of those. There we go. So, this is the one, um, the bag the bag pockets that we were making. What's bag? Making pockets and cards. I did some sewing. So, I sewed that around just some white or creamy colored. Um, that was the index card. I just cut it down and put that on there. That's a belly band on top of this. So, this bag is going to flip open. I made it to flip open this way and then there's a cute little um, notepad that I put in here um, I just took some of the off cuts of my papers I actually put two staples in the pad and then I glued it down and then I added a, a, a little saying there so this I'm going to glue um, the three sides that way when I do glue this down or wait or this way good night I'm gonna glue it down probably this way if I remember to do it right <laughs> so that this side will be a pocket does that make sense so that's the that's kind of that's my envision at the moment and then that way i'll have something that sticks out right here and then this would just open up and then we have a cute little pocket here i just put some background paper there and then one of my little um cards some lace and from my that card is from my stash this is decoupage on music paper um of a napkin that i had and i just tore it and added that there so there's that one um, this one, I, we made the wallpaper, the vintage wallpaper um, pockets. That's the video I'm referring to, the vintage wallpaper pockets. So I made a couple of these. This one, I also took another one of those um, already made cards. I didn't want the thing that was on there, so I just covered it up with something else. Put a little piece of fabric right there to match the fabric that's on top of the wallpaper here with the saying. And then this is on top of one of my coffee dyed index cards. I did a cute little punch on that. Um, and then there's writing on there. So this could be a floating pocket or something different, or it can just be attached at, as another secondary pocket or tuck space with the wallpaper, vintage wallpaper pocket. This is the same concept as that one. I didn't do any kind of punching yet. And this one, I just simply put some papers. They're nice, they're thin, you know, not everything has to be super thick, right? So, um, just to give myself some options, this one, op op I can't speak, options. Left it plain for now, you know, something to to um, add to. This was the bag, oh, I really like how this one came out. Um, I think I still want to add more to it at some point, but for now, I, this is how I love it. So I just took the bag, sealed it shut up here, added some stuff, vintage wallpaper right there, it's the tuck spot pocket, and then I another one of my index cards. I put a saying on there, punch the edges all the way around, and then just slid it in. And it's lovely, just like that. And then when this is down, this can be another pocket, either way, or a tuck spot, something like that. Um, this one, I have a little paper clip right here um, to hold this together. So this one, so I made an entire set here. <laughs> so this, so I made, I put the um, saying up there, and then I made a little a little pocket tuck whatever up there I put lace on the background a saying on the front there's journaling space back here and then this just slides right inside there and it holds it nice and um, perfectly right there um, added some here you can see the vintage wallpaper through that lace up there so when this is down my, my envision for this and that's the reason why I have all this tape paper clip together is because this would um, slide in this way like like so Yes, so I would glue all the way around or all the way around, whichever page it ends up on. And then this would slide in there and I measured it with knowing that I would keep those down. I mean, it's gonna be kind of tight, so, but there's still, there's a little bit of room I can cut off if I needed to. Use the vintage wallpaper, left it pretty plain. Um, there's journaling space on the back and then I just put a piece of paper folded in half inside there. Now that's just, to make sure that I know that that's what that's for. It may stay that way or it may grow. We don't know. And I lost the paper clip because that's what I do here. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> so I'll stick that there for a second. Um, then this is um, another one that I made here. 
Oh, here, I found the paper clips. Let me get that. Let me get that attached real quick here. There we go. Don't want to forget what I'm doing because that happens. I didn't really finish this one, but I, but I do have a, this is I stamped on this wallpaper. Um, and I'm just like, I don't really know. My bird looks angry, so I kind of, I just had to stop for the day. But I thought that would be cute and that could be, you know, put on a bag. I think that's what I was doing on this one. So I would have like a double pocket um, on there. And I just put some paper up there. So maybe I'll just do that really quick right now so I don't forget. And, you know, it's it's done pretty much. So, whoops, whoa, lots of glue. This baby's going to stay down. And I'm just going to take it to both the edges there. Sort of, kind of, maybe. We don't know how it's going to all. And I'm going to lift it up so I can see that edge of the bag right there too. There we go. Just to kind of frame it, you know, top and bottom. I don't know. I don't know. Just kind of. It's always just got to fly by the seat of my pants and just kind of do what's. I'm like, what's bumpy under there? Those other things that we're supposed to be working on. So I'm just trying to, I just wanted to show you this. The last thing I wanted to show you that we worked on, um, that I finished off camera was um, this envelope. So I'm not 100% done. I want to make something that goes like this. So this is going to be, this is going to go inside the crease of the spine on in a signature. So if it was on a page, it would be like this. So when you opened it, it would be like that. Does that make sense? So um, I hope that makes sense. Anyhow, this is not this isn't the one I'm putting in here because it doesn't. I liked it, but it does. It's not wide enough, so I just want to make it a little bit wider. I like the colors though, so that's why I'm leaving it in here so I don't forget. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back in there now, like that. So I see that. And that's fine too. I just kind of wanted it to stick out, so I'm thinking. Maybe I'll add lace. I'm not positive yet. And then the other side, um, I have the journal card in here. So this one I had before you would, there was that a different print that was on there and it just wasn't meshing with my colorful vintage wallpaper. So I um, tore this, this pocket, I tore it off, made a mess, and then I glued the wallpaper on top of it, leaving a little bit of those edges on the outside just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension and um, then I made a pocket right there. So that'll be the card, not finished, but that'll be the card in here. And that's just some, I don't know where I got that paper. I might've got it from Stampin' Up or, or Scrapbook Pack. And then there's also a pocket right here that I don't have anything in there yet, but see how cute? That's cute. I love it. Okay, so I also made these little, um, well, I had a couple of them here, but I don't know. I don't know now what I did with them, but I had some stuff stamped on the wallpapers that I was using. So I went ahead and just finished them off and made a couple of tags with them. And where did they go? Where? Oh, where did they go? I have another one. I really don't want to lose it because I really want to use it. Maybe I stuck it in one of these already. I don't know, but there you go. I just wanted to give you a little update on those. I think they came out so pretty and I cannot wait to make more of these things. So I will stick all of this right like that and then put them someplace where I hope I remember. And which I had a little thing here, but I don't, I don't even know what I did with it. I'll stick them right there. There we go. So this is what I want to work with today. I want to make some lacy pockets because I think that'll be so cute just sitting on a page. So like say this is my page um, or even the, what it's sitting on could be the page, right? Kind of, I kind of messed my laces up. I was just doing some different layerings um, with my different laces. I have so many laces, I want to play with them. So anyhow, let me just take all that off and we can start all over so you can see. So this is another part of that ripped card, which I could either use that one or a different one. And then what I did is I just took my some laces just to layer the bottom part of it, just to give it some, you know, some, some, some something, something, I don't know. And then I was taking, um, let's see, just kind of whatever, just kind of go with, I was kind of just going with the flow of it. It was the end of the day and I thought, I just want to do a little something more and I want to mix my colors up, my creams and my whites, because I really like those. Um, it's funny, I've never been a pastel girl that I knew of, but I guess I have some past, some pastel in me. Pastel, I don't know. Am I even saying that right? So anyhow, 
I've always been more vibrant colors, but and I do still love them, but I'm finding I'm working with the pastels a lot more than I was doing anything else, so I like that. Okay, so see how cute that is? And then I just took some of my fabric pieces that I cut little strips with and just put a little bow on that. And isn't that just, I mean, like even all by itself, I could put more stuff on there if I want to. I can add a focal point if I want to, or it can just be a beautiful lacy pocket with a bow and that could be the focal point. So I did, then this one right here, I did um, a, I took this, one of, one of these cards. I never use them, so I'm, I'm like intimidated, I think, by these little holes. <laughs> But I see people do them all the time, and I want to I want to play too. So I took a piece of lace, put it there. I took a piece of my wallpaper and put it here. And then I just, and that's all I did. That's all I did. And then I just took the bow and put it right there. Isn't that cute? So I didn't take it off to the side though. I kind of made it a skinnier one. And then I just have this little saying that I think one day when we were playing and I had some scraps and I didn't want to lose them, I was just put it on some of my old tape and some fabric and. You know, I, and then, isn't that just so cute? Just like that. So I thought we would make some more of these. And then I also, so I grabbed my Tim Holtz um, wallpaper pack. Um, I think that's what it's called. It is the, let me see, worn wallpaper. It's the worn wallpaper scraps, 49 pieces. It was $8.99, but for 49 pieces, um, I, I don't think that price is too terrible, but Tim Holtz is, I mean, I got it at Hobby Lobby. Tim Holtz is kind of expensive, but um, so on some of this stuff, but I don't mind as long as I'm gonna use it. As long as I use it. But see, like this would be so cute as a little focal piece on here. Which way would I put it right there? I guess the way, you know, if I want it, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it does it any justice. <laughs> Maybe it's too white. It's just, which is funny because it's Tim Holtz, right? So I know Tim Holtz and white. I don't think I would put those two in the same sentence usually, um, a bright white. Um, so, so cute. I guess, you know, if you, if you wanted one, I just wanted to give you some options, but I personally just like that. So I think that's how I'm gonna leave that. So I've already, got that one and that one so let's let's make something let's make something i got all my little laces here so i've got tons of stuff to choose from um and i've got some cards over here to play with so let's make one of these i'm gonna put those over there so and it doesn't even if you want to go around it and edge them before you do your lace you know or glue them down I would probably, I would recommend doing that. I've done it the other way and it's not as easy. <laughs> just easier just to kind of get that down. Oh my gosh, I don't know where my daubers are, but I'd like them better because of my, the way my, I have to hold stuff, it doesn't cramp me. But that's all right, those are, they'll still work too. So I have tons of stuff to play with. Let's get some stuff. And also, I got tired of um, my scrap, my little scraps that I had pulled out for myself. So I went ahead and I'm just going to let myself have a, a, um, some more options here. I want to have fun, and if I'm struggling, then it's not as it's not as fun, you know. So I'm just going to. Well, I should have a couple. Should I could do a couple of pieces out at the same time. So that I don't want to do this one because I don't want to cover up all that, but I could do this. Uh, well, then I would cover up. Never mind. Pull it together. Pull it together, Sandra. Pull it together. Let me get another one of these out. And I mean, and you know what? Why couldn't we just do a lacy bag? We can try that and see. That might be nice too. So I have these wallpapers. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? So cute. I don't think I like it on there, but maybe down that. Um, which way would I go? Just gotta start the pair. I don't like it on there, I already said. I already said. I hope everybody's having a great day. Enjoying 
the weather. Hopefully your weather is good. Our weather has been beautiful lately. Um, I'm not too much into the heat because it makes me a little sick to be in the heat, but I do like that it's warm and not freezing. That part is always a blessing, isn't it? Okay. So the way I do this is I just, it's just kind of random. I don't really have a plan except for um, pretty. Pretty is my plan. That's it. So that's what, that's what we'll go for. We'll just go for pretty. And of course I have some of this gold, golden, golden color I love so much too. So let's And then let's put some of that on here. Oh, that would be pretty with this, wouldn't it? I'm so excited. I'm actually filming this on Friday. You won't see it until, I don't know what day, Tuesday or Wednesday. But um, I'm so excited my daughter's coming. I have not made my trip yet to Spokane, so my daughter's coming, and I'm pretty excited about that. Just bring in all the kids. We, we have a fun thing here that we celebrate. Uh, it's called a May Day in our town every year. Of course, I think everybody has their, their thing in their town or close to it, so that's this. Um, it's always the second weekend in May, which is almost always on Mother Day, Mother's Day, and I think, except for like every, maybe like six or seven years or something like that, every five years, it Mother's Day is the first weekend in May. We don't change May Day for that, but, <laughs> but um, anyways, there's that. So I have no lack of supplies here, just so you, I would turn the camera, but I'll never get it back there again. So I've got all of these, all of these and then there's I have three more packs like that that are situated with colors so um, I have definitely plenty to play with and to cut up and make scraps oh here's some lace that I have that I coffee dyed this is a big giant piece that I snipped off of a wedding dress I think yeah it was one of the layers of the lacy wedding dress Ooh, this might be pretty on this paper here. Let me put that there. And that would even make a pretty fabric flip. Oh, what about a fabric flip on a bag? Have we done that before? I have never done that before. Have you done that before? Have you seen it before? Yeah, so cute. I think that is a must-do. A fabric flip on the bag. Or a lacy flip. Or whatever we want to call it. Isn't that funny? We call them a fabric flip, flip no matter what, even when it's just lace. It's a fabric flip. It's a lace flip. It's the flippin' lace. Well, I guess that didn't sound right, did it? That's all right. That's all right. We'll get over it. <laughs> all right. So I do like that, and I like that, and I like that. They feel like they all feel like colors that I will be playing with for sure. In projects coming up. Oh my gosh, my tummy's growling. I guess that's what's happened when you're up since. 4 a.m. and you haven't eaten anything. Okay, you just get a little piece of this off. And then this is how stuff ends up in my scraps as if I end up not using them. So I'm not gonna waste time um, putting them back together. I'll just do that in a second. And I think I like some of this. This is pretty too. Oh, isn't that so cute? It's gonna look pretty with the um, fairies and butterflies too. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. To work with those but I I have to get some stuff done so today I'm supposed to be doing the or today I will I'm not supposed to I will do the flip through well you all have already seen it by the time you see this video but of the giveaway of number five of the 10 journal giveaway and um, the flip through is going to be done with an unfinished journal because I'm slow poke but it'll be done it'll be done before in time to give it away, so that'll be great. And that's that's what we need to make sure about, right? I don't know. 
know if I want that on there or not. there too. I still have to get back to um, doing some more haul videos. Um, unless you guys are tired of seeing the hauls, I'm, I still have more um, to do on that um, big Spokane trip that I went to. I have all the lace. The lace is, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I got to get it washed though. Ugh, I haven't done that yet. Let's see. I feel like I've just been pulling creams. I need to get some whites to make this stuff pop out. I thought this would be a good idea to pin these for me, but they're actually harder because they get stuck. So, note to self. <laughs> Seriously, though. But, um... The pins, I always stick myself. I'm like, what's worse, sticking yourself or not being able to get the pin out, period. I don't know. But I know I don't, I know I like them to be put together because I don't like it all unraveling. So. But, you know, gotta pick your battles. That's what I keep telling myself. I just gotta pick my battles. I guess I can get all of those use all those pins and make them some rusty ones. I've never done that. That's something that I can definitely start doing. Maybe trying a little one of those projects. I really want to, um, is that one too big? Okay, I feel like I've got enough stuff on this one. So I like that. Um, let's get this one off of there. All those pins, it's gonna be the devil to me. I know it and they're gonna get me. I really like this. Um, I like the, that layering. And I, I mean, and I keep like wanting to go grab some fabric, but I don't want to do fabric. I want to just do the lace. Just lace and lace. More lace. Okay. I think like that. I was kind of liking like that. They don't all have to always be on top of each other, right? I'm not sure about that one. I like it right there. And if you notice, a lot of times I'm going to do my lace um, upside down. I'll do them both ways, but... I'm very textury. I love the I love the way it looks. I think even when I was a little girl, I thought, how come they made this um, sh shirt this way? It looks so much better this way. Why don't we, how come we can't see those? And I don't know if anybody remembers when they were doing some of the stuff that was inside out for the um, like sewing and stuff. I was so happy. <laughs> I thought, finally, finally, they figured it out. I think these would be, you know, these don't have to be just pockets. They can be, you can do whatever you want with them. I think they'd make good um, co journal cover toppers, um, name plates, you know, just, they're just, they can do more than just this. So don't limit yourself. That's cute. Is that the only color in that one? I guess I can always cut something else down if I want. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Maybe we should take a peek at these real quick to see. Who wants to see these? Um, we have that one. Let's see. Can we see them though? That's the thing. So we have this one. And we have this one. And the backs are nice and white. So you can... I feel like this is... It's nice and it's got some sturdiness to it. So I feel like we can do some copy dyeing on these easily or inking okay. where'd my little handy dandy thing go oh, my fingers oh I, I'm I don't know I did use that one I'll put that in the front oh that's I like that it's pretty neutral there's one behind it though and then, of course, I have my giant stash of wallpaper. That's kind of a neutral one. I like that one. Oh, that's really colorful. Oh, this is this is, reminds me of the one we just did, but I think I might fussy cut that out. Wouldn't that be cute? I've got, so I'm going to pull that. I'm going to fussy cut that later. I'm going to get, ooh, and I can just cut those out in strips. I kind of like that, too. So 
You can cut anything in a strip, but that's already laid out. The plan is already laid out. I kind of like that. Oh, and it has that. Must be meant to be. Hmm. Well, yeah, see, the plan's already laid out. They already did it. They're showing you with these little strippy things. Hurry up. Okay. I think I like that. Oh, I like that one too. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm going to put that towards the front. Okay. And then these two ones I'm going to stick over here because I want it on my, on my paper cutter because I'm going to get those cut. Um, I think that this might be cute instead of just that. Maybe like this. So um, let's do this. There's a scrap, and another scrap, and then I think if I'm going to do that, I'm going to take all that little bit of gold right there off too. We'll do the purposeful tear because I just, whoops. And then these are too tiny. I'm going to throw them away. Goodbye. I was trying to save them before. Somebody said to save them and, and to make paper, but um, I don't know if you've ever watched a video on how to make handmade paper, like from with all your scraps. And maybe there's an easier one and I haven't found it, but the one I seen, it is so time consuming. I would rather do yoga. I'm just kidding. So <laughs> forget it. There's no way. Um, it just takes too long. And it's a lot of work. I mean, gosh, dang it, man. I guess everything's a lot of work, but if you enjoy it, I would, I don't, I've watched it. I don't think I would enjoy the entire process. There was parts of it that I would like, but not the whole process. No, no, no. Some of these put together real quick here. And I didn't show all the off cuts of the all those Tim Holtz the flowers because you know they're just the flowers. You can see that all the time. I'm gonna put this underneath there and there. We got this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down first. And like I said, I'm just making um, front covers, so I'm not gonna make the fronts of these pockets. I know I can, but I don't want to. So I'm just gonna get this down. And it's a little bit heavier duty paper, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, art glitter glue, and that's what that, that's what's in that bottle. And then I'm just gonna lay this on there for some background, leaving that creamy white with the border. And I use my gathered twigs, um, distress oxides, have been my favorite lately, so I've been using that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start laying, just laying some of these fabrics down. I'm put the cap on here and. And then I, I went and I found my Sugar Bell bottle um, with my tip, and I have this thing on there. And I think they did work pretty well for me before. Um, I think I just wasn't crafting that often, and so it was getting really thick in there. I mean, I guess it's gonna happen when you leave the lids open. So I did buy this little tiny one, just because I think it's a little. it might be a little more easier to manage with my hand. This little guy was expensive though, but I just wanted it for the bottle also. And I guess when you think about it like that, it was worth it. It's got the fine tip, and I just, what I did is I left the thing on there, and I poked a hole, and I like pushed my needle back and forth to give it a little bit bigger. You, can you see that? A little bit bigger of a hole there. And it's been working quite well. Um, I wanted this little bottle because I think it's easier for me to hold in my hand, but also um, it doesn't take as long for the glue <laughs> to get down, the, down to the thing. And then I can see it in this clear thing, which is what I can't see with the metal tip. So I can see it when it comes into that. Watch it make a liar out of me now, but I can see it when it comes down into this part of the tip. So I know when to really start squeezing. Yeah, I can see it like starting to flow there. And then it just comes out. Um, it is a thicker bottle, so I have to squeeze a little harder, which maybe that's not the friendliest for my hand, but 
I mean, all in all, I think it is the most friendliest so far. But I'm still new to it, so we'll see. We don't know. We don't know the full, the full outcome of all that, so I think I'm gonna put that one there. And then if I wanna sew on these later, I can. I don't know that I wanna sew over the lace. I just don't know. I think it's so pretty by itself. I like the bows. I like the femininity of it. Um, since it's gonna be a pocket, I can go over to the sides. And because it's only, what is this measure? It measures one, two, three, four, five. It measures five. I can go over slightly. If I really wanna go over with my lace, I can just cut it down to like a four, four and a half. And then that way I can play with my lace. I don't mind if it goes off whatever edge, if it's off too much for my page, per, like say, um, so say I was putting it on this page right here. If it was going way off, I wouldn't put it towards the spine. I would just put it this way. I would turn it, here we go. If it was going off that way, I would put it on the edge because that way I can line my card up with that. And then that's just gonna show off if I like, and I like the look of the lace poking out of pages of the spine, the spine of the cover of the journal of the, you know, the whole thing. Okay, let's see. And I liked this right here, that's cute. So, but I don't know if I wanna layer underneath it still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on the top, right there, and lay that down like that. I'm off my finger. <laughs> No, you stayed there, you're better there. You look prettier there than on my hand. So I like that, and then um, if I wanted to add more um, wallpaper to it, I could definitely do it there, there, um, a piece there. You know, I just don't think I'm gonna do that right now, though. I like the background at the moment. That's so pretty. Um, and it does, it definitely needs more, but I wanna get this one down, and then So I'm just gonna put it right there. I think I will ink this. Put my little lid on there. Oh, I don't know why I'm going all the way up. It's not gonna be that tall, so let's see. This is gonna be on here like this. Let me just, let me just do this really quick. See how big this is? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oops. I didn't tear it the way I wanted. So we'll go at it again. I'm getting that super thin piece up here, but that's alright. And then I know they're gonna be laid down, so I probably don't need to do the back, but I feel like if I don't do it now. And then I decide that I want it to be a floating pocket. And then I have to, who knows if that's a year from now. <laughs> you know, I won't remember what color I used. Not that that's a big deal, I guess, but it can be. It can be, it can be. Okay. I also like these caps better because the um, other one, you know, where it just pops on, I always bust them. There's that. There. And I don't even remember how I did all these. But like that. Did I put that one down first? What did I do? Like that and like that. Like that, yeah, that's fine. I think I need some more pink down here, though. So, I'm just gonna put some glue. I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna put glue everywhere. Let's see what happens. So,
and I'll probably have to go back a little bit later to add a little bit more um, stuff to this, but that's okay. I think. What else? I'm gonna put something else down there. What color do I want? Maybe a little bit of. Um, of this on there too. I think I'd be pretty with that. So let me step back there for a second. Gotta grab some more stuff here. Um, that's what it's there for. Ouch. Alright, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, who's watching that? How come nobody told me? Just kidding. <laughs> I think this is the same one. No, it's kind of different, but that's okay. I just want something a little bit creamier before I put the white down. So I think the white just hides right into that. Okay, we're just gonna... I don't care if it goes off the edge. That's fine. Gosh, I didn't check to make sure I'm still in the camera. Um, I hope I am. Okay. Yeah, and see, I mean, like, it's just literally, I'm just doing, a, like, a waterfall, I guess, type layering. Um, I also like to just do, like, different kinds. Um, I don't know. If I put that pink there, I need to put something. Oh, I guess I don't have to. I can do whatever I want. Why am I making rules? I'm a, such a defiant person. I don't know why I'm trying to make rules for myself. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious. There's enough rules. I don't need to make more. Okay. All right. So, there. So that one's done. I like that. Um, that's done for now anyways, until we get a bow on there. We should try to make a cute little bow. Let's see. That's where I'm gonna grab my little scrappy doos on here. And we're gonna pick, maybe pick a couple things. Maybe I should just, maybe I should just close you up. I'm not using you right now. Put the cap on you, like a good girl. And let's just see. So that's how, what I made the other scraps. So a lot of my strips, um, like when I'm cutting my fabrics and I get those little skinny pieces. Oh, that might be cute right there. Um, that, I'll just put them together and then I just tie them off with something. Makes it easy. Er, easier for me. So, oh, I guess you want to be on there. Maybe right here on this one? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe nowhere. Oh, yeah, there you go. Found your home. I don't know if this is the right one, but I'm going to go ahead and make a bow. I'm going to make a couple bows so we can just... I prefer to use the fabric that's like all the way you can see both the print through both sides when I'm making the bows, but it doesn't always work out that way when I'm grabbing stuff. When I see something I like and I'm like, oh, I just have to make it work, but we'll see. We'll see if it'll work. Either it will or it won't. Um, that's what that's where glue comes in handy for sure. You just force it. I said, you will go that way. There we go. I have to make it tight. I like I like the knot to be tight. I don't know. That must. Be, I think it might be just a. A, a weird little 
thing about me, but I do like the bows. I like them not to be tight. There we go. All right, let's see, so cute. And sometimes, well, I haven't done it in a long time because my hands haven't, my, my hands were not always happy. But now that they're not bad, so bad, I think I'm gonna take all these strips upstairs with me on TV night, TV night. TV night is every night, just so you know, but on after dinner time, and that happens every night also. But did we have, um, I just wanna, I can take this up there and I can just make little bows. Ooh, here's a yellow one. And it's not double-sided. Again, I wanna get one that's double-sided, but I guess I better leave you out since I took you. Um, what about this, this satiny ribbon? I like this. My, I'm not even on the camera. Dang it. I'm working towards my body. If you ever want to watch somebody make a bow and make it so easy to do, if you um, have ever heard of um, unicorn dust design Uni is it unicorn dust unicorn dust design with Sammy she actually has a tutorial on how to make bows finger bows like they're I probably should go watch it again but um, I've been making bows for years and years and years and years but um, she's just got a, a really wonderful little um, tutorial unicorn dust design it's not a um, junk journal video it's not a, I don't want to mislead anybody it is not junk journaling over there she is a um, she's a definite um, crafter artist type um, and she makes she does all kinds of different stuff but like DIY stuff she's a DIYer among I think other things but she does a lot of Dollar Tree um, stuff or she did. I haven't seen her channel in a while because I've been pretty consumed with this at the moment, <laughs> but um, which I'm loving. So I'll find the balance soon. So see, cute. So these ones are obviously are a little bit stiffer. I, I liking the. Um, I like the, this when I'm doing all this super lacy stuff. I really like the um, flow of this. Does that make sense? Ooh, look at this cute lace. We can make a, let's see how a bow would look with this. Can I do it? I don't know if I can do it and do it tight. Let's see. Gosh, I just love black lace. Okay, just maybe be gentle to begin with. Don't be so rough. I was washing windows. I'm like, I want to get my windows clean. So I was cleaning them yesterday and I'm like, I couldn't get the screen off. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like getting so frustrated. And my husband comes over to help me. And like, he goes, what's the problem? I'm like, the screen won't come off. I don't know if there's a trick, but it's just driving me crazy and it's hurting my hands. And he goes, okay, let me do it. So he, Easy, one, two, three, pops it off like there was nothing to it. And he goes, you just have to use a little finesse. I was like, shut up, <laughs> but thank you. Just shut it down. Sometimes my mister thinks he's funnier than he is. But. So like, I just love black. I really do. Oh, I like that. Okay, I like, I like that. I'm not, I'm not like loving that bow. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw it into my scraps. And I know there's no black on that, but yet <laughs> there's now with that. And then I can always add a little piece someplace else. Maybe not this one or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I feel like I could put like anything there. I don't think it would be this like that, but you know, whatever. Just got to figure it out. Oh, I have a big giant flower in here. I can cut this off. Oh, I haven't cut this off yet because this is holding all this together, but see right there that's the inside of it but what I was thinking is I could take this apart let's just do it and see let's see if, let's see if, if I'm think if I've got my right thinking cap on cut that and see if I can do it oh. 
no, okay, I can just pull that piece off there. I'm gonna have all these little things going everywhere in a minute. Come on, oh, that comes off. Okay, I guess one piece, one thing at a time here. I gotta pull that stem through. Oh, lordy. Okay, there, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that like that for a minute. So sometimes you get these on, um, you know, you can just buy them at the store, like on stems and stuff. But I think this one was actually on a hat or a wreath. And there's some more of the plastic. But now I take all that apart, and now I have this really cute little piece, you know, with all these pretty other pieces that I can put together on something else. And I can just, I can take them all apart. Look at all these pieces. And I can layer it up any way I want because my mama ain't here to tell me anything different. <gasps> well, this must have been an, um, okay. I don't know if I want that one. I think I just want these. Is that too big? I think it's too big, but are you under, are you getting it? Are you getting what I'm trying to do? I'm not being very successful with it. My hands don't want to work, but there we go. Do I need two pieces or just one? Like, I mean, if you like that. Anyhow, I just think these are gonna be fun to play with, like with the fairies and stuff. So in, uh, oh gosh, I don't know where to stick it. I'm gonna stick them back in there because otherwise I'm just gonna be, re I'm gonna be over organizing. So let's make another bow because I wanna get some of these bows on here. I don't think that's working for me. Okay, I like that one. I like this one. Um, do I just glue it right now so I don't forget? Yeah, because I can always pull it off, right? That's another thing with fabric tack. It does, it does have a good hold, but um, I've been able to pull things apart. I'm gonna stick that one right there. Whoops, I, I'm gonna, right there. I like it. And if it ever goes like someplace where I don't want it, I just add a little bit of glue and just kind of stick it in there. I still have some free flow. But, um, and I like this one. See, it's hard right now because I don't really know what else I'm gonna put on here, but maybe I'm just gonna put it right there in the middle. Yeah? I feel like everything is just like so layered. Maybe that's just the way it's gonna be like that. But I do wanna put, like even if I don't put anything else on there, oh, right there, there it is. I wanna put a saying on it. And the saying might just be the focal piece. There we go, there's that. Um, and let's do this bag. So want to do this bag. So let's, um, let's get this piece down first because I know I'm gonna want that down and I want it to stay. So I'm gonna use this art glitter glue. I'm gonna move this basket out of my way and back on trying so hard to be mindful of that and I'm gonna do this oh my gosh I'm so excited for this what a wonderful idea I love it super happy so I'm gonna just put some glue here I mean I can always go sew this later if I want to but I don't think I want to sorry if my head's in the way I was really Really getting up close and personal with that. Okay. Okay. And then, oh, and then I have to remember where I put everything. And that's great. Just great. Just kidding. I think it's fine. I think I'm going to start from the bottom down, though. And I'm just going to put up some glue. And I think I'm gonna follow that same waterfall type um, on this for my first one, you know. I'm also <laughs> going to grab a, a sheet of this because I want this to be a flip, so I don't want it to be stuck to the bag. 
All right, yep. Pardon me while I wipe my fingers on this wonderful rag that has grit to it. It's not like a baby wipe where it's just smooth, so it pulls that glue off. And then my towel. I had a towel here. Here it is. Ooh, I even grabbed a red one so I wouldn't lose it, and I still lose it. Okay. There we go. I mean, okay. So it's so exciting. So my husband. Um, some of the kids, when the, the kids, when the grandkids come here, it'll be fun because the fire trucks go in the parade also. Um, back to Mayday, sorry. Whoops, what was she talking about? <laughs> um, anyhow, so that if the grandkids want, any of the grandkids want to ride with um, their, with my husband, their Opa, that's what they call him, Opa. If they want to ride with him, then they, they can. So that'll be fun. I think I wanted that. Oh, I wanted it right there. Because I want to go like creamy white, creamy white. And this one's so pretty. I was gonna ride with him. Um, I mean, I still might, um, if there's room. I was gonna ride with him and throw out some candy with him to the kids, and it's so much fun. I love seeing happy kids. I, it just makes my heart happy. Even when I was a kid, I always loved it when kids, when I could see happy kids. And I think, you know, does it all have to go that way? No, can it now turn around and go this way? Why not? Who likes that? I think that's clever. So. Anyhow, I'm, the, I'm looking forward to it and the kids are looking forward to it. And my dog, Maggie, she, she's, she always loves it. She, she always thinks everybody comes just to see her though. We went to the bank, went into town yesterday and went to the bank and first when they first opened there was nobody in there so I took my, they're like, hey, where's Maggie? I was like, I went and got her but I um, I didn't have a leash, I should have had a leash, but I didn't have a leash, but that's okay, she listens really well so I was like, so I took her into the bank really quick and she literally made her rounds like, oh, now it's your turn to pet me, oh, now it's your turn to pet me. <laughs> just wiggling her big old giant booty with her little tiny stubby tail, just happy as, happier than anything like that was the best thing it was like going to Disneyland for her so all right I think that's all I'm gonna do on that I think that's I think that's cute just like that I love it um, I'm probably gonna end up putting something up there maybe um, I don't know maybe maybe I don't know let's see what we have in the trims really quick I guess while we're here we might as well take a peek I want to keep it very neutral though because I just, um, um, that's lovely, but it's a crocheted doily. So I feel like I might save it because no, I want to stay natural. Natural. I want to stay natural. I want to stay neutral. So, okay, I'm not finding anything in there. And my finger just got stuck in that little thing. All right. Um, I really want to stay neutral. Oh, this is what I was looking for. I wasn't even in the right thing. No wonder. No wonder. This is just kind of thicker, but I mean, nope, that's not it. Not the winner. This is a little bit different. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Just, nope, you still, you are still the winner on that one. No, I don't want that. Isn't that funny? Sometimes you just don't really know for sure. I was what I was thinking about is doing like something with the beads, but um, depending on where I put this, like if it was on the front of a book, it would look cute. But I mean, it would look cute no matter what. But see how those are pretty wildly lumpy. I mean, they're pretty substantial beads. They're not like really tiny. Let me see. Just 
just take a peek at this and see. Okay, I kind of like that. And then would I put it down here also? Oh, I kind of like it there too. So that's a contender. But I do need to let you guys go. Um, and I will just, I guess, continue this. And hopefully this is what I was looking for. See, the beads are much more smaller in scale. And okay, that's the one. So I'm going to go find some more of this and I'm going to add that to it. And um, I will just have to show you on the next video when we come back um, how I finished these up. But I hope that I inspired you to pop, break out your laces if you haven't done that yet or other pieces that are fun and, to use and pull them apart and make some cute pockets. Sometimes I feel like I hoard my lace for specific things, but I mean, I think they make lovely pockets just on the pages. So there you go. Let me know what you think and I will um, um, be more than happy to do this again if you like it. I hope everybody has a great day and thanks for hanging out with me. Bye friends.